the Serahan snake smashes the record. For the longest snake in world history. That's a big snake. This is a huge snake. This is just the first specimen from Serahan. There could be even longer snakes out there. And further mystery hold a secret that will open up a whole new chapter in natural history. This forked tongue is a crucial organ, sensing the world around it. The fork in the tongue makes it's the biggest of its kind ever to live. It is a sublime moment that most scientists can only dream of. For a few precious hours, the two young students and their intriguing implications. It suggests that 60 million years ago, the rainforest at Serahan, on land, Titanoboa's weight is suffocating it. Sliding into the water, it is coming home. In this ideal environment, it becomes the ruling predator, a lurking killer. Despite their lack of legs or fins, what did it eat? What did it really look like? Incredible though it is, it seems two grad students have on their hands one of the biggest discoveries of the century. Ruled by a slithery monarch and confront a creature unlike, of unbelievable size. Both now and 60 million years ago. Is any animal safe from Titanoboa in Sarahon's lost world? Whose crocodile is at risk? Unable to escape the giant snake's recurved teeth. Crushed by coils of muscle delivering 400 pounds per square inch of pressure. Each time the crocodile's chest moves, Titanoboa tightens its grip. Inducing unconsciousness. Then cutting off its victim's blood until death. This mighty predator, dominant of South America. A predator. Males avoid females most of the year. For very good reason. They're in danger of being eaten by them. But in the mating season, chemical signals in the water show it's safe to approach. And then, the fight is among the males. The wrestling can last for weeks as the males try to push each other aside until, finally, one manages to mate. The pregnant female breaks on. Titanoboa is likely to give birth in the water, but may sometimes do so on land. The babies are already over three feet long at birth, as big as some modern snake adults. Their size will be their only protection. Female Titanoboas do not mother their children. The only attention they pay them is to eat any that don't survive birth. Allow Titanoboa to stretch its jaw wider and wider apart. Little by little, it maneuvers its jaws over the crocodile, dragging it into its throat and down into its stomach. Any snake, even the largest, is at its most vulnerable when digesting a big meal. Bloated by the smaller croc inside her, Titanoboa is a tempting target for a super croc. Croc's death grip, she retaliates by throwing coils around it. Exerting a pressure of 400 pounds per square inch, this ultimate constrictor squeezes the life out of her biggest rival in Sarahan's lost world. Tens of millions are gripped by snake phobia. 